In the past, my Grace was a professional gymnast. She was injured in competition and decided to quit. She started to have back problems. My wife graduated from university and got a good education. Now she is happy with her job. However, from time to time the back injury makes itself felt. About once a year Grace undergoes a course of special massage. My story began when my wife came home from work one evening upset. As you can imagine, the masseuse I go to has moved to another city. Now I have to find another one. My cousin works as a department head at the hospital in town, so I suggested we ask him for help. Robert actually recommended a good masseur, and within a few weeks Grace started coming to him for therapeutic back massages. The masseur turned out to be a young man, also a former athlete, and a true master of his craft. I am very glad that I came to him, his wife praised him. And in fact, after this course, I want to have an anti-cellulite massage with him. But you don't have cellulite, I said. Not yet, but I will soon. I spend so much time sitting at my desk. I didn't argue, if she wants to do it, let her do it. At the same time, I was going through a difficult time at work. I had been promoted and had to stay late to get into my new position. My wife went to a massage therapist after work, and I didn't know when she'd get home. She also stayed late a few times a week after all the massage classes, she said, to go shopping with a friend at the mall, to turn in a report at work, to visit her mother, and the like. I didn't pay much attention because I trusted her and didn't supervise her very much. And for nothing. One day Jessica, my wife's friend, called me and told me that Grace was cheating on me with this very famous masseur. You can imagine how I felt at that moment. Of course, I didn't believe it right away. You can say anything, but there's proof. Other than what you said, of course, Otherwise, I wouldn't have called you. I have a picture of them kissing in a nightclub. I happened to see them there and took a picture. I can also show you our correspondence. She confessed that she cheated on me. But why do you want to know this? I mean, you are best friends. Why is one of you getting everything and the other nothing? She has you, the kind of husband one can only dream of. How am I worse? Why don't I have that? I didn't pursue the subject. It was clear to me. Elementary jealousy. Jessica also sent me a photo from the nightclub and screenshots of the correspondence. The photo was kind of blurry and it's easy to fake a text message. I thought I'd check it out for myself. Then Grace calls me and tells me she has to stay late and redo a report. I didn't say anything but I decided to investigate. I borrowed a friend's car. She'd recognize mine. And at the end of the workday, I parked in the lot in front of the office. After a while, Grace left the building, got into her car, and drove away. She stopped in front of a small restaurant, went inside, and sat down at a table with a man. I watched for a long time as they talked, kissed, caressed each other's hands. It was clearly not a friendly encounter. After all I had seen, I left and did not go into the restaurant. When Grace got home late that night, she was in a good mood. I didn't want to confront her, but I wasn't going to forgive her betrayal. I didn't want to listen to her either. I simply asked for a divorce. She realized I knew everything. After that, she went to her mother and got a divorce pretty quickly. Now I occasionally call her best friend Jessica to visit. She's a very hot girl. Every time she tries to surprise me. It's so cool. Thanks to Grace's cheating, I was free. All this time I've been living with her, doing her every whim and getting a lot of nothing in return. Grace left me and I'm free and I'm happy. I'm very happy with Jessica who comes over spends the night with me and leaves. My life has become a fairy tale. As I found out, 
the masseur also left Grace. Now she's without a masseur and without a husband.